Yeah. I mean, this is our derby match. This is our three biggest games of the year. We're not happy about the first two. I mean, there'd be some revenge factor in there. Look, the atmosphere down there is pretty good. So there's a lot of reasons, there's a lot of things that stoke our flames that get us going for this game. It's Portland. I can't say it any other way. What are, what are some of the obvious differences you see from your players and just from the game experience when you walk in there in a Portland compared to a Portland? big place like Atlanta or other different, big crowds? Yeah, it's a good question, Jeff. Different venues. Uh, what are the players going through? I, I, you'd have to ask them all the questions. For me, as, as, a, as a coach coming in, I always like to go out in the field first and look and feel and, and see what's out there. You know, check out the field, the surface, and everything. Uh, Atlanta was good because that stadium's really, really impressive. I mean, it's state of the art and it's great, and they had a ton of people in there. In Portland, it's you know, it's an older stadium that they've refurbished. It's nice. Our fans are always there first because they got to let our guys in first. So we always get a big cheer and that kind of helps the guys mood as they come off the bus and then they give us a cheer before we go out to warm ups. And then the Timbers Army fills in and then the two groups go back and forth. So there's a lot of energy in that in, in, the, in the building. How important is that away support? I mean, that's the it's the only place you guys are going to have a thousand fans all gathered in one spot. The naval flag signs. <laughs> was awesome. I didn't catch it, of course, but that was awesome. Awesome. Brian, Portland, Seattle, one of those teams is playing really well. Another one is not maybe playing as well don't as they would like out. to. Yeah, don't cut and, them out. Yeah, and how much is that in terms of one team just really we're, trying to continue? Yeah. We're not, we're not, look, their current run of form, that's normal MLS. Remember, they started the season off not on the best foot. 15 whatever it was in a row without a law 13 whatever it was um, you know look, our team's playing well their team's gonna play well it's two teams that are good quality soccer teams in a rivalry match that's the way I'd put it what are you getting out of uh, excuse me just follow up what are you getting out of Gustav and uh, Alonzo in terms of their partnership and that's enabling the upper people to be self-expressed solid I mean, it's now two guys in front of the two center backs cleaning up between the lines, stuff between the lines. You know, they'll have their hands full with Valeria and Blanco this weekend, so that'll be one of the key matchups. But, you know, it's, it's, it's been a good partnership. You know, they're both tough in different ways. Um, they're both good passers of the ball, so it really helps us be solid defensively. And also, you know, Ozzy starts most of our attacks, so it's, it's, it's a good combo for us.